Iron Maiden return with stunning new album, Senjutsu. First off, I've been listening to this album over and over again. I can't stop playing it. It is, in my opinion, an absolute masterpiece. When you listen to a Maiden album, you want it, of course, to rock. To rock out like there's no tomorrow. You want to be uplifted. You want your spirits to soar. In short, you want epic, cinematic rock and roll played by masters. Absolute masters of their craft. I've tried so hard to listen with my reviewer's hat on. Try to be objective, but I can't. I just find myself just drifting back to being a fan again. The thing, one of the things I like most about this album is the band have managed to encapsulate all the things that make Maiden great while stepping forward and looking to expand their musical horizons and ambition. I know we're going to get a lot of fans who comment on social media, on the forums, saying it's not the old Maiden, it's not the same. We want shorter songs, we want shorter albums, it's all far too long. Now I'll say this to them. If you want longevity as a band, you have to change. You have to move forward. Try different things. Otherwise, it all goes stale. I first saw Maiden playing pubs in London's East End, what, around 77? And they've come a long, long way since then. You have to change. You have to adapt. Well, here's some of my highlights, but they change every listen. But on the last listen, these were my highlights. Darkest Hour, written by Bruce Dickinson and Adrian Smith. I believe this is based on Winston Churchill's decision in 1940 whether to either make a truce with Hitler and the Germans or to stand up and fight. Thankfully, He chose the latter. It's written through the eyes of a soldier waiting for the day to dawn, the new day to dawn and the conflict to begin again. The song swirls and drifts by turns, slow and brooding, then epic and soaring. It's one of Bruce Dickinson's finest moments. He takes the piece by the scruff of the neck and turns it into an absolute classic. You won't find many vocalists out there who can put this amount of passion into a song. While Adrian Smith brings every ounce of emotion out of that guitar. And you would think after the thousands of guitar solos I've heard over the years, it would take a lot to move me. But this certainly does. The band must play this album in its entirety live. And when I get to see this live, I will be on my knees bowing saying, I am not worthy. Death of the Celts. This seems like Klansman Part 2, but it's another brilliant Steve Harris epic. And it includes, I kid you not, some guitar parts that sound like Irish folk jigs, and more than a passing nod or two to Irish rock legends Thin Lizzy and Hawkslips. But my favourite at the moment has to be the last track, Hell on Earth. It kicks off all acoustic guitars and atmospheric swirling keyboards. Two minutes, 12 seconds in, all change. And we are off on a familiar Iron Maiden gallop. But familiarity does not breed contempt in this instance. And we are led into some of the most beautiful, melodic, heart-stirring guitar playing you will ever hear. It's one glorious, almost Celtic riff after another. But don't miss Nico's drumming and Mr. Harris on bass, providing the perfect canvas for that guitar. Then Mr. Dickinson steps forward and delivers yet another stellar performance. On this album, it's one great performance after another from every member of the band. Hell on Earth builds, slows, builds, slows, and it reaches some incredible peaks. The last three pieces on this album, The Death of the Celts, The Parchment and Hell on Earth, all written by Mr. Steve Harris. Now, there are hundreds of prog rock bands out there trying to do these epic extended pieces and they don't even come close to this. Maiden, just kill it. So these are my initial thoughts on this album, this monster of an album. I think it clocks in at around 82 minutes. So when I've had a chance to fully digest this album, I will be putting out a full review on the channel. 
But one thing I will say, I think this album needs to be listened to on headphones and you need to listen multiple times to get the full beauty of it. So thank you for listening. Please stay safe, stay well. Please subscribe to the channel and I'll see you guys in the next video.